Another snake. That one's not moving too much. Here at the MTB house right now, we've got two really special things I'm going to show you guys today. Number one is inside of right now with Luggers. He hasn't been fed. Did you open this up? I did not. It's I been open. I don't know if the cleaners came in. Uh, it might have been flare. This is not the special part. We're just checking out Gary for a minute. Gary hasn't been fed. We gotta maintain his girth. Gary's he's in his adolescent stages. He's going through puberty. Bass start to really take off after three years old, but he's in his pubescence right now. Got to make sure he stays thick. It's looking very good right now. A couple of goldies. Well, we're gonna start off with a non-goldie. Oh, a non-goldie. Go yeah, because he likes a goldfish so much. Oh no, he knows. Look at him. Come here, Gary. Wow. Come here, Gary. It's not me, Gary. It's over there. Here, Gary. It's over there. Gary. There you go, bud. There you go. Slurp that thing up. There you go. Hey, come on now. I know Why it's not he... gold, but. Oh, does he not want anything but goldfish? I think, yeah, he has a thing for goldfish for sure. Oh, there's like... Something there's about two, that orange, man. There's two dead ones right here. Something about that Cheeto color. Do you see how he went back over to the dead ones? He like oh, here, keeps we're... he keeps going up. Maybe it's just a, a, you know, he's accustomed to the gold. Maybe he just likes the, gold. Yeah. Right, Gary? Yeah. Gary. Oh, he just, he just ate one back there. He just ate that other one, the first Gary? one you put in, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's coming up for more. There's another one, Gary. Oh, he did. That's all the scales in the back. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's going to see it. It's it's coming out. about to happen? Bad angle. Oh, he sees it now. Oh, are you going to hit it, Gary? Come on, Gary. He's oh, coming he's now. Got he's, he's coming. He's locked, locked loaded. Boom! Got him! Have you ever seen so many fishing poles? Look at that beautiful side, Joe. Yeah, keep, keep that crinkle going, keep it going. A long time ago when I was telling you guys about Favorite and me working with them, you know, one of the things was getting a, getting a hearsay, getting to be behind the scenes and working with the company directly. That's exactly what we've been doing. Uh, me, Lunkers, all the other Googans, we've been helping to design rods. We have our own signature series. It's been an awesome thing to be a part of and we are super pumped to bring them to you and super proud of it too. These are really good rods. So, huge shipment has come in. We are offering 10% off and free shipping for a limited time. You need to get on it, okay? So any rod that you want, if you want to get one of the LFG Signature Series Make Every Cast Count rods, get that. If you want any other rod on the site, you can get that 10% off right now. Link is in the description. So a little special something for you right now. If you're looking for that stick for spring sticking, your chance to save right now. So go hit that up if you want one. They gonna go fast. Okay, me and Luckers are gonna head out. And I got something else I gotta show you guys. <sighs> All right. Finally got some more rods in. Let's put some bins in. Now I'm sure some of you have already asked this question, so I'm just gonna address it right now. LFG. Why haven't you done a review on your own rod? That's a really good question, and I haven't done a full detailed video about it, and it's something I'm really proud of. I mean, it's it's a dream come true to be able to work with a company like Favorite, design my own signature series rod, and bring it to you guys first before it hits anywhere else. So it's been really awesome. The only problem is uh, we sold them out so quick, you guys bought them up, that I didn't want to just do a whole video on it and then not be able to say, you know, hey, you can go check these rods out, you can go get one. They are available now. And I will do a video, uh, if you guys want me to, I'll leave a comment down below and I'll do a full detailed video on everything uh, about this rod and then uh, just the big sexy line in general. But this is my favorite rod line, by favorite. I, I could talk about it all day. But just slide your comment down below if you want me to tell you more about it in another video. Anyways. Let me show you what I really wanted to get to. Now, back behind my fishing freak hat here is one of the tastiest bass mounts I've ever laid my eyeballs upon, and it happens to be my PB bass. Now, for those of you who don't know, I caught this fish in March years ago. Got her done right over there on Lake Fork, a place called Lake Fork Taxidermy. It's right there. Those guys have done a lot of crazy, crazy good bass mounts. And I'm actually having them work on uh, my peacock bass and my 42 inch pike. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a certified Mondo 
brought from the depths of about 12 feet of water in the March time on a jig full of eggs and ready to drop them. I'm gonna break the slider out. We're gonna get some fabulous shots of this wonderful bass mount that will be going into the bass cave. Are you ready? Let's take a minute and let's check this thing out. my baby right there. I already feel like a dad. This brand new beautiful bass mount. So for those of you that don't know this bass weighed 11 and a quarter. That's my PB bass. Still looking to break that puppy. That's why I'm hitting the water so hard especially right now during the March and April months when the fish are at their fattest. But if you guys ever want to get a bass mount done make sure to get the right measurements. So I took a you know one of the soft uh, measurement deals and I could wrap it all the way around do lengthwise now what you can also do in a pinch is just use fishing line you can use braided line mark it with a sharpie or whatever cut it just cut the exact links for uh, the girth and then the length and the artist can then take that and they have a bunch of different molds like Lake Fork taxidermy they have it's a bunch of molds. I think it's over a hundred different ones that kind of get the general shape and they can get it really close. And then they take your, your pictures, make sure to get really good pictures uh, without shadows or anything like that where the light can, can shine on there and, and really bring out the fish's scales and its colors. And uh, then they can take it from there and, and do their thing and with the artwork. I wanted to do a, a, a basically a habitat mount. This is called a habitat mount. I've got the bluegill in here. Where I caught the fish was around some stumpy areas. Uh, it was that March time of year. That's when they're starting to get aggressive on bluegill. So I really wanted to portray the fish with its mouth closed, really portray that giant belly that it had. It was full of eggs. I love bass mounts with the mouth is closed myself. The ones that are open are sometimes really cool, especially if they're coming up and hitting the top water. But you know, I caught this fish on a jig. Just imagine it going nose down and then doop, hitting it. That really gets me excited. So got it done like that. And you can really tell on a female bass, they just have that small head like that. And then of course, at a place like Lake Fork, huge girthy body. Now, if you guys are in Texas and you're interested in getting a mount done, uh, I will link these guys below. Uh, I mean, I've, I've watched them do tons of mounts, just being a guide at Lake Fork and being over there a lot. People going right over there and and giving them their measurements and everything right as they get off the water. I actually did it years later and it turns out really great. A habitat mount is really pretty awesome. You gotta have a little space though and uh, we don't quite have that right now. Me and OSG are still on the hunt. Uh, I think we might have something right now. Don't wanna speak too soon, but we're talking about like ultimate bass cave. I'm gonna have this uh, on the wall with all like antique lures, a lot of my favorite stuff like all the talking point memorabilia from everything that I've done and fishing so far and this this has definitely got to be one of the centerpieces so super proud of it hope you guys like it make sure to hit the like button if you do and I hope you're getting a PB bass mount done this year as well alrighty fishing freaks that is going to do it for today's video I am now going to put old Mondo back into her little storage place until we get her a nice cave. If you've got an awesome bass mount at home, let me see it. Tag me on the Instagram, at Lake Fork Guy. I wanna get some more inspiration for maybe some other mounts I wanna do someday. 
But until then, thanks for hanging out with me, fishing freaks. Make sure to subscribe right here to the channel and hit the little ding dong bell if you want to get the videos as soon as they come out. We're heading up to one of my favorite lakes in the entire country, one of the most prettiest places on earth. And I'm taking OSG with me with a good buddy of mine. So that's where we'll be next. Hope to see you there. See you on the next one.